Hi guys, I'm Jerry Mai. I'm a Vietnamese chef in Melbourne. Today, we're gonna to do some really simple things with eggs. All it is, it's timing. Timing, timing is the most important thing. You know, six minutes, eight minutes, 10 minutes, four minutes. So there's a really important thing that you gotta remember. By the time we're done, this is gonna be so simple. You're gonna laugh about it. Okay, so now the simple test of to see if your eggs are okay. Grab your egg. I've just got um, cold water in here. Drop the egg in. Egg sinks to the bottom, it means the egg is okay to go. The egg floats to the top, put it in the bin. It means that the air bubble in there has gotten too big and the egg's no good anymore, so you've got to get rid of it. Okay, first we're going to hit the easy one first. We're going to boil an egg. You know, you want a runny egg or a hard boiled egg. It depends on all the timing. And a little trick that I have is a little pin here on the really curved side of the egg. I just put a little hole into it. This will help release any pressures in the egg when I put it into the water and it won't crack or burst while it's in the water. Six minutes in guys for a little soft boiled egg. These will come out over here. Notice I've got some uh, just in ice water because I want them to cool down really quickly immediately so they don't get uh, overcooked. And then for a semi hard boiled egg we've got it on eight minutes. Again straight out straight into some ice water and for those hard boiled eggs we've got this in for 10 minutes cold icy water stop it from cooking and then I'm going to show you how to peel the eggs really easily. So straight out guys, just a little tap. Because we put it in ice cold water, it has uh, shocked the shell and we know the eggs are fresh so it should peel easy. There's a little membrane there, you need to get underneath that membrane like that and then should peel very nicely. At six minutes here we've got a really nice runny yolk, really good with soldiers and toasties for little kids, my son loves these. This, see how the yolk is just sort of cooked through in there? And that is perfect for Caesar salads, eggs and mayo and sandwiches. Also, my son loves that. And this here, I consider this a hard boiled egg. Do not cook the life out of it, where you get that gray ring around the side there. This is perfect. So we've got six, eight, and 10 minutes, guys. Poached eggs, very simple. Just two basic rules. You need white vinegar in there. It helps the egg white coagulate and bind together. Uh, and really fresh eggs. So in here I have boiling water. A couple of tablespoons of uh, vinegar will go in here. Then what I'll do, I'll give the water a little swirl. I've got my egg in here in a bowl ready to pour in for it. Give it a swirl and then I'm just gonna drop the egg in. And with that vinegar in there, it's gonna help the egg bind. And with that swirling, it's just gonna help the egg whites come together. After about four minutes, I'm just gonna fish the egg out. You have a look, the yolk is still really soft. The white's all cooked. Just drain it on some paper towel. And that is a poached egg, guys. Now onto the fun stuff, the fried stuff. Let's hit it straight up first with a sunny side fried egg. But I'm gonna put a bit of a twist of a Vietnamese style. And why you say Vietnamese? It's because we like our edges on the whites really nice and crispy. Whereas a normal Western, uh, it's just a really soft white. So pan on. High heat, uh, a little bit of vegetable oil on there. Give it a good swirl. I've already got the egg ready in the bowl. Again, uh, always crack your egg into the bowl. It's easier to uh, handle and to add into things. And also you don't get those nasty little shelly bits in there as well. I want this pan to be hot. I don't want it rearing hot, smoking hot. I just want the oil to be hot so it seals the egg straight away. If you're like me and you don't like your whites runny, just open the egg up and this will help cook the whites through and cook faster. So at this point, this will be great for a, a Western uh, fried egg uh, if you go normally to your breakfast cafes. However, I like it a little bit more crispy. Like so, see uh, my sides here are getting a bit brown. And then that is my fried egg. Just a couple of things to add to it. I only have my fried egg with soy sauce. That on toast, you can't beat that. Okay, scrambled eggs. Very simple, I've got two eggs in here. You can have as many eggs as you like. I got a little bit of full cream milk, a bit of luxury into it. Whisk it up. Now you can be really creative with this. You can add chili to this, you can add crab to this, you can add all kinds of little things to this little scramble. A little bit of veg oil if you like. Extra virgin olive oil is great as well. I always like to have a little bit of butter. So a little bit of oil, a little bit of butter there. Melt the butter and then eggs in. With this I'm working from the sides. And getting the eggs onto the pan to cook. And what I'm doing is I'm cooking it on a medium to low heat. 
So guys, this is really nice and fluffy and a really soft scrambled eggs, and that's what you want. A lot of times that like, when you cook scrambled eggs, I think you just, people just think to put the egg in, mix it and scramble it in there, and it becomes little chunky bits, and it becomes uh, overcooked and really dry and rubbery. You don't want that. This, my friend, is a very good scrambled eggs. A really simple breakfast with all in all is a cheese omelette. Now I've just got two eggs in here again. Uh, a little bit of milk, if you like a bit of cream, you can always put a little bit of cream in here as well. This is really important. We don't want to burn the omelette. We want it to get slowly cooked and really nice and fluffy. So medium heat pan, knob of butter, a little bit of oil again, just a little bit and see how it's just still really nice and yellow. Hasn't burnt, hasn't gone brown. We're not making burnt butter. We're just melting this butter in here. And then in we go. We're taking the eggs from the side again. Make sure your heat's not too high. We're bringing the eggs in. Unlike with the scramble eggs, which I'm always bringing all the eggs in to create the scramble. I'm just slowly creating a little thick omelet here. At this point where it's nice, just a little bit of runny in the center, I'm gonna add some cheese in. What I'm gonna do is flip it in half like so. I'm just gonna let that cheese melt out a little bit. And when you're making the omelette, you know, you can always add mushrooms in there. You can add a bit of bacon in there, onions, capsicum. So it's quite a really good dish to clear out the fridge with bits and pieces that you have, like from a salad from the night before. So really nice and fluffy there. Let's slide that off. There you go, guys. Perfect hangover food in the morning. So guys, it's that simple. You know, we've got boiled eggs, we've got poached eggs, uh, fried eggs, uh, scrambled, and an omelette with cheese. All it is, it's timing. Timing, timing is the most important thing. And have really good fun cooking your eggs, because I did. Oof.